Hello friends, why we paint our house or building? The reasons are, paint enhances appearance of building, paint protects the surface from rain and sunlight, paint also increases lifespan and durability of the structure. In this video, we are going to discuss different components of paint. Modern paints can have 10 or 20 components, each responsible to give a specific quality to the paint. But basically paint consists of six main components and they are base, pigment, binder, solvent, dryer and additives. So let us discuss them one by one. Base Base is a solid substance that forms the body of the paint. Base usually consists of very fine powder of suitable material such as white lead, red lead, zinc oxide, iron oxide, titanium white, aluminium powder, lithophone, etc. Base makes the film of the paint opaque, harder and elastic and it prevents formation of shrinkage cracks. Number 2. Pigment Pigment means color and it is in a powder form. Base and pigment, these two terminologies are confusing. In general, for white, black and very dark shades, the base itself works as a coloring pigment. In case of light or bright color, the desired shade is obtained by adding coloring pigment to white paint. There are two types of pigments. One is prime pigment and second is extender pigments. Prime pigments are responsible for color or whiteness in a paint. It also hides undesirable surface flaws. Titanium dioxide is the main ingredient in prime pigments. Number 2. Extender pigments Extender pigments are also called as fillers. A filler is a substance which can be added to paints to increase its bulk volume without affecting its useful properties. It influences the paint's overall sheen, color retention, abrasion resistance and strengthens the film. For example, silica and silicates are extender pigments that increase the paint's durability. Commonly used extenders are chalk, gypsum, barite, silica and magnesium silicate. Zinc oxide helps to prevent mildew and corrosion and it is especially useful in outdoor applications. Third component is binder. It is also known as resin or vehicle or glue. It is actually an oil which is dried on exposure to air. Hence it is also called as drying oil. It has the capacity to keep the pigment and other components of the paint in suspension or solution. It is responsible for providing adhesion, binding the pigment and also makes the final coating tough and durable. The most commonly used vehicle or drying oils are linseed oil, dehydrated castor oil, bleached oil and fish oil. Solvent It is also known as carrier or thinner. It is simply responsible for transporting the binder and pigment to the substrate surface. It evaporates as the paint dries. It is added to paints in order to make its application easy, smooth and uniform. Water, petroleum spirits, turpentine and coal tar hydrocarbons are some of the commonly used solvents. Turpentine is generally used as thinner in oil paints. In emulsion paints, water is used as a thinner. Number 5. Dryers it accelerates the process of drying of the paint. Substances like cobalt, lead, manganese dissolved in volatile liquids are used as dryers. Number 6. Additives They are used to modify the properties of the liquid paint or dry film. Additives provide specific performance characteristics such as stain blocking or mold killing properties. For example, thickeners are additives that help thicken the paint to make application easier. Surfactants help disperse pigments within the paint, ensuring the coat is even and stays in place. Co-solvents help the film formation and help to prevent damage from occurring if the paint is frozen. Co-solvents also make application easier by lengthening an amount of time the paint can be opened before beginning to set. So friends, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.